Hey guys, Kim here from Kim on a Whim. Welcome back to my channel if you are coming back and if you're new here, I hope you guys enjoy these kinds of videos. I do cleaning, cooking, decluttering once in a while, just trying to get my very small house in order. And if you guys hang out, you'll see why I decided to do a deep clean of my kitchen. There's something really disgusting later on in the video that kind of provoked everything here. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and let's get into cleaning. Show me your love like it is, like it is. And open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. the deal cause I want you to show me what you feel you're watching me like you want me but you're still holding back still holding back here's one of the reasons why I was an awesome Tetris player living in my house with such limited cabinet space makes every chore of putting stuff away a little Tetris game like it is and open my heart like you're fearless still You see it guys, I ain't one of those two trip bees. I will stack my arms full of stuff just so I don't have to make a second trip. I'm the one who coming home from the grocery store will load 10 bags in each arm just so I don't have to make a second trip out to the car to bring groceries in. I don't know why I do this, but then the next day I'm always like, oh my shoulder hurts, I wonder why. That's why, I put 10 grocery bags on one arm. So one reason I did this deep clean was because every time I came to this corner I was smelling something weird. I wasn't sure what it was. I thought maybe it was a piece of fruit at first that was going bad. It wasn't that. I went through the cabinet underneath, thought maybe there was something under there. And then I was like, the bread. It was that bagel. It was a raisin bagel, a, a thing of raisin bagels, and it was all the way at the bottom of my bread bin. And that was what this funky smell was in this corner. But that wasn't the main reason for the deep clean. That was one of the reasons, but not the main reason. The main reason is coming up. I'm a clenched fist in the rain for you. A mental patient half insane. It's you. Now everything can go to pieces.
So here is five minutes of my life I will never get back because I moved these canisters and pineapples around pineapple and it, spoiler alert, literally went back to the exact same way it was when I first started. <laughs> this is, for some reason, I was switching them all around, seeing if something worked better. I think I just got it. I was like, all right, I'm just putting it back. I'm done. Uh, P.S. That middle canister right there right now, full of sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce. Shh. Don't tell anyone. So insecure about myself when I met you. All right, guys, just a few seconds more and you're going to see what started all of this. I know, I know, I know it is illogical. All right, guys, so here it is. This is the window above my sink and it gets so grimy. I think it's just from all of the moisture from cooking and doing the dishes here. And then also we have dry heat here. So as soon as winter hits, we get our nasal passages get dry, our throats get dry. So I'll try and put a pot of water on every few days just to try and get some moisture. And I think what happens when the windows steam up, it drips down and then it just sits at this sill and just gets really nasty. Plus all of the plants come to this windowsill to be revived by me. My son has a plant, it's not doing well in his room, he brings it to this windowsill. Same with my daughter, all the plants come to this windowsill. So while I'm letting the bleach sit on the windowsill, I'm gonna move on to my stove. And I just got this Dawn Power Wash about a month ago when I was in Sam's Club, and I'm really liking it. So I'm gonna spray down my grates and pretty much let them sit too. So I got the bleach on the sill sitting and soaking. I got the power wash on the grates sitting and soaking and I'm going to move into getting the rest of the stove clean. And you guys, I battle with this stove all the time. I can never get this stove to be a streak free shine. And I have learned to live with that. I am okay with that. I have to tell myself that or it will drive me crazy. So this is a new product to me. I just grabbed it last night when I was at Target and it's the Sprayway Foam Glass Cleaner. I've never tried it before. I do like it. I even like the scent of it. It smelled pretty good. 
I will have to try it out on my large picture window in my front room. That's going to be my next deep clean because that's like a massive window. It takes up almost the whole entire wall in my front room. Oh, front room. Living room. It's, it's my living room. I call it my front room. I've always called it my front room now that I think of it. I guess because it's in the front of my house. That's kind of crazy. Do you guys have a certain... I guess term that you use or a word that you use for something it's just your go-to word even though I guess some people might not understand what I was talking about but my front room is my living room <laughs> now I'm moving on I have soaked my grates and this is why I cannot keep a manicure because I use my nails to scrub stuff off all the time but I'm gonna clean the grates to my stove and get these all nice and shiny well as shiny as I can Porch sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides, always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies, you know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes, round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute, taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes, swing it down. Make everything disappear. Can play my favorite song. Put your rose colored glasses on. What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear. Lay low in the beaches, sun. Put your rose colored glasses on. Yeah, yeah. Put your rose colored glasses on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an enemy crime to get a little lost in everybody's business. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? I think I'm the wrong size. Not enough room for everybody's egos. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on. So since my microwave door and my oven door both have glass on them I figured I would try this product again I'm not being sponsored by this product it was just something I picked up in the store last night and it worked really well and the sad thing is is that I'm looking forward to using it on the big picture window in my front room slash living room slash where we all hang out and watch TV So here I am again. I refuse to make more than one trip, so I will load up my arms with all the soda so that I don't have to come back again. It's so silly, right? I'm going to move on to clean off my kitchen table. Now, let me know if you guys do this. I will scrape stuff up with my hands or like crumbs that are on the table or the countertops. I'll just use my hand to kind of scoop them up and throw them in the trash. This drives my daughter crazy. She'll see me even do this on plates after dinner. Like I'll just scrape it into the trash with my hand. <laughs> I'd have to say the first time she saw me do that, she was so disgusted. She's like, oh my God. That's so nasty.
move on to my floors now and do a quick vacuum and mop and I will link a video down below the recent video that I posted or was it the one before I have a spot on my floor and it's just from high traffic normal wear and tear this floor is old we've had this down for quite a few years now but this one spot there's actually two spots they're kind of couple tiles over from each other but there's wear and tear and to the point where it's a white spot in the floor and I did get something from the Dollar Tree it was a furniture marker and it did work for a little bit I will say I am going to try it on I found a nick on my table when I turned my table but as far as doing anything with the floor it worked for a couple weeks but that was it it it's coming back now it's starting to wear again I need to find something that's more permanent or I just need to replace the floor I'm sure my husband would rather I just find something <laughs> it's a quick fix instead of replacing the floor again So my sill is dry and I can start putting the plants back on. I'm not going to put as many plants up. I think that's what happens. I get a lot of plants up there and then it's just such a hassle moving everything. I so want to have one of those kitchens where there's nothing on the countertops, but I don't think that's ever going to happen for me. I just have stuff and I have a lot of stuff and I use almost everything that I do have on the countertops but I would love one of those kitchens that has nothing on the counters. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing and I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Plus I have a little, uh, not bonus footage, but something goofy that I did at the end if you guys have stayed tuned. Bye. All right guys, so that was the quick deep clean of my kitchen. Uh, apparently today's cleaning products was uh, blue or forms of Fablo, so it was purple, but red and blue make purple so yeah today's cleaning video brought to you by blues all the blues <laughs> so if you're wondering why i used so many paper towels i will show you because this is going to be part of the next video coming i didn't want to deal with this cabinet because i have no idea where my cleaning cloths are so make sure you're subscribed so that you can see me try and tackle this beast of a mess. Bye guys.